What's up, A family? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. Did y'all watch my last video? I freaking told you so. I had to go to the screen and let you see the video of what was being said. But now, face to face, let's talk about this. I told y'all. I, I used the wrong word. I used negotiator, and I should have said middleman type is what I meant. But I told y'all it was Lou. And Lou's come forward now, and Lou has told everybody the play's over. After 73, you have no legal recourse. They're going to pick a number, and you're going to settle for it or there'll be consequences. I already know how, and you say, well, how can there be, con there can be consequences? Y'all don't know what you've gotten into. <laughs> but I told you Lou was gonna be the one, the guy from New York. Now, on the day I made that video, he come out and said that it was fucking impossible. Five days later, he's telling you that it's not only possible, it's how it's gonna go fucking down. And I'm going to tell you in this video, like when I was a little boy riding with my dad, and he had the radio on, and what was that son of his name? Paul Harvey. I'm fixing to tell you the rest of the story. I'm going to tell you how this ends. And it don't end good for some people. To begin with, here's what's fixing to happen. Gigi is going to meet and he's going to discuss meme stocks. Now let me ask you a question. Stop and think for a minute. Do you think this man is fixing to come out and say meme stocks are awesome, retail are great? No, he's coming to shut this shit down. And by shit, I mean the ability for retail to get together like we have in the AMC and GME movement. Relax, just listen and hear me out. You'll understand the common sense of it. You got a handful. Is how it ends. You got a handful of YouTubers. They're fixing to be picked up. They're fixing to be arrested. And they're going to be charged with pump and dump schemes. And the allegations is going to be that they had bought into AMC and the options of AMC, then turned around and used their YouTube channel to pump the stock up, to create the environment of the MOAS. This is what he's going to be talking about, people, and he'll probably have them picked up the day that he makes the announcement, if they haven't already started, because we're so close, as we're right there. But they're going to be arrested. And the narrative is going to be that had it not been for the pump and dump scheme that they created around GME and AMC, none of this could have happened. Now, they're going to forget the fact <laughs> that they created 20 billion and 100 billion counterfeit shares. They're going to forget about that. And they're going to focus on the YouTubers for the pump and dump. And that's going to set a new line in the sand of what we're going to be able to talk about and what we're not going to be able to talk about because they're going to show us through busting their asses the consequences for coming on YouTube and talking to y'all. That's coming. Also, it's going to rip. It's going to go to 50. I believe there will be a fight at the 50 over options. And then the next morning when you wake up, it'll be in the 200s. It'll fluctuate inside of between 125 to 200 throughout the day for people jumping in or jumping out, excuse me. And they're getting out on a low level. But there's going to come a time they're going to halt the stock. And they're going to say, that's enough, and here's the number, and you take it. I think I know what the number's going to be. 
But the point is this. Just like they've been communicating to us over the course of the last month through Lou and his videos, 73, no legal question. He's told us everything they're telling him, he tells you. That's how he knew Kenny was gone. In the middle of the night, he made that video. He had that information. In the middle of the fucking night. But the point is this. He's going to communicate to us the price. Now, I think that's what he wanted, but then now that he's in that position, he don't want it. That's why he's crying for Al. Al, where are you at? You deal with these motherfuckers. But Al's gone, and it's, it's on him. But that's what's going on. I've told y'all all along, using the chart, this was about to happen. I told y'all he would be the one to come forward and say it, and he has tonight. I told y'all we were in a holding pattern, and he told y'all tonight. You're in a holding pattern. I told y'all turkey on the table over here, fixing to call dinner. That's what he just told you. The holding pattern. That's what. I, how do you think I come up with the holding pattern? I use the turkey analogy. The holding pattern is coming to an end. They're going to be picking up some fucking YouTubers. I hope some of y'all are quaking in your fucking boots. Because what you done was wrong. Now, they're right coming after them YouTubers for doing what they've done. They really did scam everybody. That's neither here nor there. But they're going to be the scrap goat. And they're going to be telling us, through what they do to them, what we're going to be able to say on YouTube. And that's how it ends. You'll take your money, and you'll go on about your fucking business. Why? Because you're not an ape. You're a retail investor. And retail investors take profits. That's how they've been talking to us, through him. Take the fucking profits is what they're telling you. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. I love y'all.